leave me. Leave me alone. I, I said I know because I have mental issues. Issues. No. 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 Please help. The video is difficult to watch. A desperate and screaming Samo Ugo being dragged out of the Regina General Hospital by security guards. This was the second time the 20 year old had come to the hospital seeking help for depression, anxiety and sleeping. Earlier, he was in touch with a mental health worker. Hours later, he called 911 repeatedly and was escorted to the hospital by police. But after officers left, documents show there was confusion in the ER concerning Ugo's name and health records. Documents from the Saskatchewan Health Authority show that a nurse told security Ugo would have to be moved. Instead, security guards removed him from the department. No! 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 Please help! Help! Not long after the video was taken, Ugo's body was found here in Wascana Lake. His family says he died by suicide. Ugo's uncle says one of the most concerning parts of the video is that it doesn't show any doctors or nurses speaking to Ugo. Security guard have no any uh, mental training to deal with people who have mental health issues. They are not professional. That's not their job. Why were they there? This was our concern. The Saskatchewan Health Authority has formally apologized for its actions leading up to Ugo's death. It says we'll undergo changes to prevent this from happening to someone else in the future. Ugo's family hopes it renews a focus on cultural sensitivity and diversity in emergency rooms. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Regina.